This episode of Taz That Help is brought to you by Toyota. What's up guys, I'm at CES 2014. A little bit of a different background out of the last few videos. I'm actually at the convention center now. You can see CES going on behind me, or at least a little part of it. So I stopped by and checked out this company called 3D Systems, and they are doing some pretty awesome stuff. They've got a 3D printer, which is actually pretty small, for under $1,000. What? This thing is actually really, really nice too. It can print some pretty crazy stuff. Now that's just their smallest printer. They actually have lots of different models and sizes of printers. They have another model that's gonna cost around 5,000 uh, bucks. These printers don't come out until Q2 of this year, uh, but they are making a cheap, affordable way for regular consumers to buy a 3D printer. The guy at the booth is telling me their cartridges, which are, I guess, filled up with some sort of plastic, uh, cost around 60 bucks. And then one of the things he showed me is this new thing called Sense, uh, which is really, really cool. It's got like a camera and like some sensors stuff on it and you can bring it around your body and within a few seconds make a 3d model of yourself like I pulled myself up on the screen and was looking at a 3d model myself and it only took a few seconds to do it uh, and they've got a really nice software that comes along with it too where you can like touch up uh, any mess ups on your face where it didn't look right or anything like that and it actually comes out looking pretty good and then immediately within a few minutes of doing this you can send it right to the cube and start printing the 3D model out of yourself that you did with the Sense. I had to move views because some company over here is playing really loud music very annoyingly. But yeah, the Sense blew my mind of just how easy it was to use and just how quick you could do it. You could have a 3D printed model of yourself within a few minutes. And the printer costs under a thousand bucks. I don't know the exact price point yet because they haven't announced that, but still, a thousand bucks for a really good high definition uh, 3D printer. They've even got printers that print chocolate, like amazing 3D printed chocolate sculptures and stuff that apparently taste really good. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't have any samples when I got there, but they said they put like sugar and some other ingredients and stuff in there and can make 3D printed chocolate sculptures. That's amazing. They've also got some bigger printers which can do even more amazing stuff. They printed a freaking drum set that you can actually play and a guitar and figurines that from like movies and TV shows that look amazing. And then life-size like Star Wars characters and stuff. Another thing they do, they've got this like full like wrap around body thing that you can like sit in and it will do a 3D life-size model of yourself. With their 3D printers, you can even make yourself into a like figurine. It looks really, really good. They said you could put your face on like a basketball player or something like that, or make you look like a superhero. Lots of cool stuff uh, this company's doing. And they're doing it for a, a affordable price. There's a lot of 3D printers here at CES, uh, but this one stood out to me just for the price point and just how good the 3D printing's actually come out looking. Like, it's actually amazing. I can't wait, because like five years from now, probably anybody will be able to buy a 3D printer and the like cartridges and everything like that the materials you put in them are gonna get cheaper and cheaper and yeah instead of regular printers we're gonna have 3d printers it's not gonna be long if you want to check it out their website is cubify.com uh, this really stood out to me and I, I really liked it a lot all right guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give that like button down below a click subscribe to my YouTube channel right there so you don't miss any of my future videos uh, make sure you check out all my previous videos from CES I'm covering some of the biggest stuff uh, and some of the stuff that just stands out to me like this uh, that I like and enjoy uh, so so stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.